The bomber you killed worked for a man called Le Chiffre. He's a private banker to the world's terrorists. Le Chiffre shorted the stock, believing he'd make a fortune after he destroyed their prototype. Instead, he lost over a hundred million dollars of his clients' funds, including money belonging to the Ugandan rebel Stephen Abano. Has Le Chiffre been playing the market with Abano's funds? He won't like it when he finds out. All the more reason to bring in Le Chiffre as soon as we can. You want Le Chiffre alive? Very much so. To win back the money, Le Chiffre has set up a high-stakes poker game at Casino Royale in Montenegro. I'm putting you in the game. If Le Chiffre loses, we'll give him sanctuary in return for everything he knows. You're replacing a man named Bliss. You're booked on the same train to Montenegro. I leave it to you to explain. Every penny of it. The Treasury has agreed to stake you in the game. Vesper. I hope you gave your parents hell for that. Of course you realize that if you lose, our government will have directly financed terrorism. You don't think this is a very good plan, do you? So there is a plan. I thought we were risking millions of dollars on a game of luck. Then you may also have heard that in poker you don't play your hand, you play the man across from you. But of course I won't be playing at all until I find Bliss. Have you seen him? No. MI6 will tell you where to find him. Good night, Mr. Bond. The man you're looking for is Mr. John Bliss from the European Drug Syndicate. He's in a private car at the front of the train. Use extreme caution approaching him. Bliss isn't traveling to Casino Royale just to play cards. He's made arrangements to take delivery of a hundred kilos of black tar heroin sometime before your train reaches Montenegro.